At daybreak, Endoro takes his new queen to the top of the hills, leaving Azuka to fend for himself. High above their new kingdom, they forge a future generation for Rwanda's lion population. Over the next few days, they will be inseparable, mating up to 100 times per day. Four days later, the courting couple return to the plains. They have company. The other lionesses have arrived. Endoro reunites with his brother. He's full of vigor and showing the confidence of an alpha male. Together, the brothers rally to meet their visitors. For the very first time, all seven lions come together on their new turf. This is the key to their success in Rwanda. Five strong lionesses with a dominant male as mate and guardian. Suddenly, Shema must fight for her place in this hierarchy. She mounts a young female, Kazi, in a display that shows she's the top cat. It might not be enough. Kazi is in heat too, and Enduro will take every opportunity to pass on his genes. Barbs on his penis trigger her ovulation. But the pain also triggers a hostile reaction. Enduro is showing all the hallmarks of a dominant male. Throwing his weight around and mating repeatedly. This frequent coupling maximizes his chances of siring a new generation. Only one in three attempts is successful. Enduro has come of age and he's forging the pride dynamics. <laughs> <laughs> 